kingdom of Babylonia was conquered by the Assyrians after a long and exhausting war. When all hope of resistance was lost, the tribes allied with Babylonia were forced to submit to the Assyrian conqueror, King Assur. And so, one day the Chaldeans also went to the city of Babylon to surrender to the new king. symbols of the reign of Assur and of his cruelty. Amal, why do we have to go and bow our heads to that ruthless assassin? It's the fate of the conquered. The Assyrian king has offered us an honorable peace. We have no choice but to accept. Not for ourselves, but for our people. Allow me to give those unfortunate men at least the benefit of a decent burial. Go ahead, Nemrod. And you over there, help him. He was performing an act of piety. 
But you wouldn't know the meaning of that word. Every man in the course of his life does a certain amount of evil. A king more than the rest because he's more powerful. Listen to reason, Amal. Submit immediately. And I'll forget this incident. You seem to be courageous, a virtue that is especially rare in my court, I regret to say. Just for that, I'll pardon you. If you submit now. I am sorry, Asur, but I cannot submit to anyone on... Let this insult go unpunished. His example may provoke a rebellion. It's too dangerous. Yes, you're right. But I don't want there to be any disorder in the palace. If an accident should happen to that Chaldean, let it be outside the city.
Hello there. No. Shh. He's not here. We must find him dead or alive. Sibari off. I found you by the brook. You've lost a great deal of blood. But you won't sound serious. You'll be all right soon. What is your name? Semiramis. You saved my life, Semiramis. Lie down. Don't talk. Close your eyes. Okay. Before the war, my family and I lived very happily at our village. After the Assyrians killed my father, my mother and I came to live here. Where is she now? She died from grief. Since then, I've been living here all by myself with my goats. 
Do you mean you have no friends? No one to keep you company? It's very sad to be so lonely, isn't it? I suppose so. I hadn't realized it. Till now. in the desert. I was stupid to ever fall in love with you. Don't say it. Don't say that. Don't you realize I'm a hunted man? You must be free to live and be happy. Oh, what do I care if I live or die? If you're no longer with me. <gasps> oh, no. You mustn't think about going. You, you must get well. Oh, we can't go back to the cabin. I know a safer place. Come. Let me help you. Now lean on me. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm so happy. Are you alone? I feel as if I were beginning to live today for the first time. Fighting, tyrants, struggles. All that seems so far away. Stay with me forever. Forget the rest of the world. I wish I could, Samiranas. I wish I could. But I'm a chief. My people are waiting for me. I'm well now. I'll have to leave. Then I'll come with you. I'll follow you wherever you go. Well, it's a dangerous journey. I won't be afraid. Won't you? Not with you. Uh, how are you so sure I uh, really want you with me? <laughs> I'm a soldier, you know. Semiramis, you must never trust a soldier. Maybe in two or three days, I will have forgotten all about you. I might even love someone else. Semiramis, come back. People will be proud of you, and I hope you'll love them. I love anything that belongs to you. It's getting late. I'd better go to the cabin to get my things. I'll be back before dark. Wait for me.
haven't found them. What shall we do now? Search the whole village. Go through all the huts. He couldn't have gone very far. Go on, find him. Me, but your regret. Don't forget you're in my hands. But I might let you off easy if you're uh, reasonable. Come here. No. Mm. Oh, beautiful. No. Oh, so beautiful. Drop it. about a girl called Semiramis? Oh, yes, yes. They captured her and they tied her up with the other girls and took them all away. Where to? To Babylon. To Babylon. Tomorrow. But first of all, 
According to this decision, his noble cousin Zabari is here to choose good dancers to do the sacred dance tomorrow at the temple in honor of the goddess Astarte. <laughs> have been chosen by him. You must be a very cunning and ambitious girl. Through his protection, you'll be able to get anything you want. What I want is to be free and far away from you. I don't care what you want, providing you do not attempt to get in my way. What did she mean? Who is she? That's Lysia. The favorite of the king. She came to look you over, try not to become her enemy. The ceremony will be magnificent. Babylon will never have honored her protector, the divine Astarte, with such display. I completed personally the arrangements for the feast, and I chose myself all the dances. Thank you, Sibari. You're the only one among my courtiers who knows how to please me, even in the choice of my favorites. For example, that lovely girl you've hidden in your house is certainly a gift for me. Which one is that? <laughs> I too have spies, and I'm well informed, Sibari. I've been told that this girl merits a better fate than to wither in your palace. <laughs> you will bring her to me after the feast. I'll be glad to assume. I knew you had chosen her as a gift for me. <laughs> You're perfect, Sibari. Always obedient, devoted, perhaps a bit too ambitious, though. But remember, you're only a poor cousin of the father who owe to his generosity and mine your high position. Hmm. Why do you hesitate? Go on, do it, and you'll get the crown you want so badly. Ah, oh, you're afraid, sir. You must be joking us all. You know I'm your faithful servant. You just said so. There's nothing I wouldn't do. The slave's name is Semiramis. You will see her tomorrow among the sacred dancers of the temple. <laughs>
Sarsky, may the sacrifice we have solemnly offered prove our devotion and gratitude. Send me Ramus. A mouse. A mouse. A mouse. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. I must be dreaming. You found me. Quick! Look! 
what's up. Give the alarm. Go and warn Sabari. Hurry up. It's madness to come all this way and risk your life. What does it matter? Oh, I'd almost prefer to have you far away than in danger. If only for a moment, to look into your eyes and know you had not forgotten me. That was worth any risk. What shall we do? I can't bear to be separated from you. Not now. We'll never be separated again, my love. I have many friends in Babylon. They've prepared everything for our escape. But how? Listen, tomorrow our caravan leaves for Nineveh. We shall join them. But you must get out of the palace. Can you do it? Oh, it'll be difficult, but... Oh, I will. I will. I'll wait for you at the old tavern by the marketplace. Yes, the old tavern. Yes. Let's look over there. Shh. He must be hiding here someplace. He can't be far away. Semiramis, nobody saw you. That is no one except me. What were you doing in the garden? I will never tell you. Savari! Savari! The stranger has broken into the garden. You arrested him, didn't you? Answer, you idiots! He killed one of the guards, but he managed to get away. Get out of here. So that's why you were out there. Who is that man? It's useless. I will not speak. Said Ramus, you'd better take my advice. Try to forget him from now on. Try to forget your past. It's the only thing that makes me feel alive. The only thing that makes me feel free. If you wish to, you could become the leading woman in Babylon. What do you want of me? The king wants to see you. He noticed you during the ceremony. Tomorrow you're to dance for him. The king? will be a great triumph for you. You'll be stared at, envied, and admired. Bear this in mind, though, the favor of the king never lasts very long. But I don't want the king's favor. I know. 
but you're very beautiful. And from the moment the king saw you, he forgot all about me. But I don't want to take your place. I want to lead my own life far away from here. There's no point in fighting the will of the gods. Enjoy your good luck while it lasts. Oh, no, Alicia, no. I bear you no ill will, Semiramis. We can be friends if you wish. Wait! Lysia! Oh, I need your friendship. Help me, I beg of you. Why? What's the matter? You're my only hope. Please don't let me down. You see, they'll never suspect you. But what do you want me to do? Do you know a tavern by the old market place? Yes. You must be very careful. No one must know. It's a secret. Sibari, I know something that you'll pay very highly for, and I won't give it away for nothing. I can say, however, that it concerns someone very dear to you. Semirami. What kind of reward do you want? To be back at the king's side. Sibari, <laughs> you don't understand that that woman hates you, despises you. Through her, you'll never get what you want. But if she disappears, well, I'm your friend. You're mad, Lizio. You know perfectly well that King doesn't want you anymore. You can be useful neither to me nor to yourself. You're wrong. I can still be very useful to you. And if I don't talk, your plans will be upset. You've always been my enemy. How dare you propose an alliance now? Tell me your secret or I'll sit out you. You don't frighten me. I won't talk. Oh, yes, you will, Lizia. Go on, Borgias. Oh, let go of me. Oh. Oh. Speak. No. Speak. got nothing left to hope for. But for any woman there's something which counts more than her life and that's her beauty. This will make you talk. Your lovely face, your beautiful skin, your luscious mouth, all that will be changed into a repulsive, disgusting scar. Look! Look! No, no, please don't. I'll speak, I'll tell you everything, but don't do it.
Matthew, you stay. Come here. Sit down. We'll go on with the preparations. Yes, but be very careful. The sword must believe that all resistance is over. The uprising was taken by surprise. Otherwise... So you really think you'll be able to get a whole army together? Don't worry. All the Chaldeans are ready to follow me. Now, then I'm going to go. go. I will join you presently. still doing here? Why didn't you go along with the others? I must wait for someone. The guards! Right behind me. Go ahead. You over there.
You'll be proud. I didn't know there were women like you. Now you know. I'm only awaiting your permission to return to my room. Allow me to retire. You refuse an honor that all the girls in Assyria desire. Do you know what it means to arouse the source interest? Nothing you may offer me is worth sacrificing a memory, not even a smile. Until now, I thought all you girls were alike. But in your case, there's a difference. There are times when a king wants other things than just submission and obedience. You may retire if you wish. You're not the kind of woman who can be won just by force. But I want to see you again, because I hope to convince you of the value of my offer. You can never change what's in my heart. Oh, well, there's no memory that time won't heal sooner or later, because time can work miracles. You're right, nothing's worth sacrificing the smile of a woman as beautiful as you. You may go. Imagine that you'd surely be pleased to have under your roof that young Chaldean whom you love so much. Where is he? If you want to see him, I'll show you the way. Where is he? Come with me. What have you done to him? King Assur. I know you didn't gratify his wishes. It's a clever trick. His desire has been increased by it. But you have to keep it alive. What are you aiming at? What is behind all this? I'll explain that to you when I'm ready, Simiramis. You will admire my cleverness. First, I want you to become for Assur the most important thing you're playing a very dangerous game, Sibari. Suppose I become too powerful. I don't run any risk. You and Amal are both in my hands. Do you agree to the pact? What will happen to Amal? I'm tired. Take good care of him. Come. 
When you were brought here, we were afraid they'd kill you. But how did they capture you? I don't know. They took me by surprise. At the tavern of Karat. And the others? Our companions? Did they get away? Yes. Fortunately, they were, were able to escape. The gods be praised. Hey, you. Who are you? How did you get in here? There. You can't bribe me. I won't take the risk. I'm the king's favorite. I'll give you anything you wish. If you help me. Come, it's too dangerous here. What do you want me to do? You must let a man the Chaldean prince escape. Sibari is very interested in the prisoner. If I let him escape, I'll be killed. Oh, but you'll already be very far away. Here. There's a large sum of jewels in the corner. You'll get twice that amount as soon as I'm out of thing. Sibari! It was her idea. I was going to tell you. Tell you all. Uh, somebody let her in and she tried to bribe me. Look! Here are the jewels. I didn't want them. No. No! I didn't do anything, Sibari! No! Show him to the prisoners and to the other guards. This will serve as an example. You murderer! You betrayed me, foolish girl. I was expecting you to try and break our pact. But as you see, I took my precautions. It is all my fault. A man has nothing to do with it, I swear it. Our agreement stands though on one condition. Listen carefully. You will become a Saul's favorite, or a male will die. Who is it? They're killing their own men now. Bravo! Who are all of you? Congratulations, Moses. I am to kill the rest. Take a good 
good look at it. You recognize him? That's what will happen to anyone who betrays Sibari. Oh, Take him away. I wish it all ends up like him. Kill another one, get the please. The wolves are eating each other. They was planning your escape. Look at what became of it. None of you will escape. You'll finish your lives right in here. Just to keep you from getting bored, we'll pick up your friends at the tavern. Sefari never forgives his enemies. Remember that. Tell me what's troubling you. There's hardly anything that's not in my power to arrange. Yes, I know. Of course. You're very powerful. You're even succeeding in changing my life. But even though I shall bow to your wishes, I... I cannot help feeling remorse. Forget the past. You know how much I adore you, and I'm not going to force you to do anything. On the contrary, I'd give everything I own to make you smile again. I don't expect you to give me any more than you already have. I know that for you, gold and jewels have no importance. I'm not speaking of that. I want to give you much more. The gods didn't arrange our meeting so that you'd become just another one of my favorites. When a man meets a woman like you, he should tie her to his destiny. Forever. So they captured you. They came back to the tavern. I had no time to escape. And the others. They burned Iktor's village. The whole tribe of Omar is in jail. Women and men. We've been betrayed, I tell you. Then I guess there's no hope left. Oh, yes. Many of our friends are free and ready to fight. In the mountains. And hidden here in Babylon. Ha! Amal. Oh. Amal. We thought the Assyrians had killed you. It's good to see you. Listen to me. The night I was arrested, I was supposed to meet a woman in your tavern. Did you see her? No. No woman came to the tavern. Anyway, not that night. Are you sure? Certain. Did she come the following day? Her name is Semiramis. Semiramis? Then you know her. Where is she? Tell me. Amal, you don't know what everyone else in Babylon does? She betrayed us to be the new favorite of Assur. Tomorrow she's going to be crowned queen. Assur, king of Assyria, will you accept Semiramis as your wife and the queen of Assyria? Yes, I do. And you, Semiramis, do you accept being the wife of Assur, king of Assyria?
to amuse you much. Do you want me to stop the race? Pay no attention to me. I'm very tired. Do you think that one day I will see you smile? Yes, my lord. On the day on which you give freedom to the Babylonians who are starving and dying in your dungeons, remember that I am a Babylonian too. Don't you wish to make peace between yourself and the people you've conquered? Pardon me, so for breaking in, but I may have a compromise between the necessities of politics and the wishes of Simeonis. What compromise? I suggest that you use the gift of the King of the Medes. How? You might organize a contest. The populace is fond of spectacles of that kind. You'd make a present of their lives to the slaves if one of them wins. Ah, <laughs> a good idea, Sibari. It's going to be amusing to watch such a contest. Prepare everything. I'll attend to it at once. <laughs> Amal is not going to be in it. I want him to live as much as you do. Sabari invented for us. And believe me, if any of them comes out alive, he can consider himself a favorite of the gods.
keep quiet and bring that man over here. Hold you. You, you're our mouth, the Chaldean. You're the rebel chief who once dared insult me. And if I survive, I will do it again. Let him try. Get back to work. 
trouble now. It'll be easier to escape from here if ever we get an opportunity. Hey! What are you doing? You know it's forbidden to talk. Hey, you! Come with me! Get out of here! Hey, get him along! Where are they taking him? Did you come? What do you want? That I congratulate you on your marriage? You mustn't hate me. You don't know. You don't understand. Why did you marry him? Why? I was in chains, not you. I went through suffering, not you. I only ask for your love, nothing else. They asked much more of me, and I had to do it for your sake. If to save your life, I had to become what I am. I know I shouldn't be telling you this, but, but losing you, losing you is cruel enough without having to bear that you despise me. I'm only telling you the truth. Amal, please, please believe me. The entire truth, the only truth. <laughs> oh, forgive me, Semiramis. Forgive me. No one can destroy our love or take away the happiness we've known together. Oh, now, is there no hope, no way of finding that happiness again? I could never let you face the King's vengeance. Oh, now, I can face anything, anything as long as you need me. No, Simeonis. It's no longer possible. We cannot go back. Our destinies have been separated. But even though I can never see you again, I... I will always carry you in my heart. Get you as long as I live. No. Goodbye, Samira. No. No. No.
taken every precaution. I wasn't able to get rid of him before, but you gave me all the help I wanted. I'm going to become the avenger and the successor of my royal cousin. And you'll be at the same time the murderess and the victim. you die to try to seize the crown by regicide. It'll be difficult to persuade the judges that you're guilty. You must. I will tell the truth. I will shout it to the people. I shall scream it on the scaffold. I will tear away your dirty mask. Nobody will listen, even if you do scream the truth. Fear will deafen the judges. I know how to frighten them. Guards! I'll call the tribunal together right away. I'll make sure that it gives its sentence quickly. Such a horrible crime must be punished immediately. <laughs>
When Semiramis has been consumed at the stake, I'll be master of Assyria. I'll be solemnly crowned and the whole country will be mine. The judges will say so. They'll do as they're told. They'll bow to my will. Here comes the mail! On your horses! Hey, we must reach Babylon and dawn!
been killed. He paid with his life for his felony. Law and justice have been reinstated and the oppressors driven away. Our people have recovered all their liberty. We hail on the throne of our fathers, the Babylonian, the great Semiramis, who rules in our hearts. Glory to our queen. Long live Semiramis. Babylonians, swear allegiance to your new queen. Thank <laughs> you.